so I feel like I am dying. Psychotic nightmares the entire night. I was constantly waking up, panting, crying. And it's like you're in a horror movie. Really weak and dizzy. A couple times I almost passed out. I slept for 13 hours. Horrible dreams. I have not eaten anything today. I'm baking all my emotions. So emotionally exhausted. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Lizzie. So I am filming this the day before I upload, but I realized I need to make a narration of the entire video because it's two weeks of random vlog footage. So a main thing I wanted to show in this video is my raw experience being off meds, the withdrawal effects, and then the effects of going back on. My main bipolar med mood stabilizer is called Lamictal. I did not willingly go off my meds, but I ran out because there were no available psychiatrist appointments, so I had no choice. Besides just bringing you guys along on my life in Nashville, Sacramento, now back in LA. I don't want this intro to go on too long, but a year ago I made a video mixed episode day in a life, so I want to keep doing stuff like that. I also showed you guys a lot of the food I'm making, travel things, masks. <laughs> also, I filmed some things with Trevor, which is so exciting because he's barely ever in my videos. Also, I want to thank Anna Louisa Jewelry for sponsoring this video. I have to make sponsored videos to make income if you're mad about that and you're watching me for free so i've been wanting to work with them for over a year so i was so excited when they sent me my jewelry and right now i'm wearing the little diamond stud necklace i haven't taken it off for a week and a half so this is the packaging it's super cute they have a little velvet pouch that all the jewelry's in that I really like. And so then these are the three pieces. All the jewelry is either 14 karat gold or 92% sterling silver. So here are some teaser shots of the vlog of me wearing the jewelry. I'm gonna link below their website and you can use my discount code Lizzie10 to get $10 off your first purchase and you guys can twin me what if I made up my mind to rely on you so it is noon and I finally woke up I had the most exhausting dreams it's so horrible I slept for 13 hours and you were caught in the nightmares and you can't get out and it's like you're in a horror movie only it's real because it's everyone you know and it's more vivid than your actual life I have enough Seroquel and have been taking that which is my anti-psychotic I've only been off Lamictal for one day but the past five days before I was only taking one instead of two pills just to ration it out. I just did a Skype doctor thing last night so they're giving me five days of medicine so I'm gonna go pick it up. So I feel like I am dying. Really really weak and dizzy. Last night was horrible. I had nightmares the entire night. I was constantly waking up, panting, crying, so emotionally exhausted and dizzy. <sighs> There is this iPhone app that you can also use on your computer called Live Health Online and you can use your health insurance through it, hook up your credit card and you can do like an online doctor visit. And through the Live Health Online, they're not sponsoring this by the way, I just use this a lot. You can actually get psychiatric medicine prescribed but for bipolar since it's a really serious mental illness, they do not like prescribing it over and over again. So I've gone to them so many times, but this time they're like, we'll only give you one week of medicine. We I literally feel out of breath right now too and so weak. I'm not exaggerating here at all. It feels like I cannot breathe. My main priority right now is being medicated and strong and ready to go for my speaking event on Saturday. I don't want to be off meds. I don't want to be exhausted passing out on stage. I don't want to be in depression. I don't want to be manic. My eye is involuntarily crying right now.
okay so some things i left out so i remember the day before this i was paying for my food with my credit card and i literally could not put my credit card into the machine i also remember walking downstairs and almost falling i just had no sense of balance i am super low energy and faking all my emotions for the next day of the vlog so let's paint the sky. I have not eaten anything today, so I'm gonna make some toast. I'm really obsessed with Ezekiel bread right now. I mean, I always have been, but recently I found the cinnamon raisin English muffins and they are so good. So the reason it's called Ezekiel bread, in the book of Ezekiel, God tells them how to make bread. And then the regular bread I'm obsessed with as well. It's so good. I got the low sodium just because they were out of the regular kind. And then I use Earth Balance, which is vegan butter. The sun is always there to shine. The clouds don't own the sky. And now I'm snacking on an avocado. I peel my avocado like a banana and then just snack on them as if they were a fruit. And I thought everyone did that. And then I'm snacking on some berries as well. <laughs> Isn't this so cute, guys? Nicole gave this to me. It's like a zebra with flowers and stuff. When you miss a dosage of a bipolar medication, take it as soon as possible when you realize you've forgotten. Let's say I'm supposed to take my medicine at 10 p.m. at night and then I don't remember until like noon the next day. I'll immediately take that dose and then also do the dosage at night. But if it's really late in the afternoon, if it's like 2 p.m. or 4 p.m. or like 6 p.m. when I remember, then I'll take it immediately and then take like half the dose for that night just because you don't want to overdose. Although for most bipolar meds, it's like really difficult to overdose to the extent that you'll hurt yourself if you just do a double lithium is the exception one time i accidentally took double of lithium and i had like tremors and couldn't think and it was really bad but for most medicines if you accidentally do double or you miss and then do time and a half it won't be that bad so i have my bread two slices of bread and then the cranberry raisin english muffin and then coffee and then i'm going to do editing and finish my speaking thing too Guys, if you look up way up here, Taylor Swift is home. I'm not kidding. That's literally her apartment. Hey guys, so we are making vegan curry. The prep time is only 15 minutes, which I'm shocked this is gonna turn out so well. <laughs> yeah, okay. So, so far we have a ton of vegetables. Purple onion, which I recently found out are called red onion, but I've always called them purple onion because they're totally purple. And then we have green pepper, red pepper, Potato, basil. In the place where we met. Can you film me? Okay. And then we also have an entire thing of peas. I hate peas growing up. My sister would always have a side dish of peas for her vegetables at dinner and I hated it. But since this is inside a giant curry with really good seasoning, I'm open to it. So here's everything for the curry sauce. We were supposed to get something called green dragon sauce. So instead we got sriracha and also this chili garlic sauce. Some of my best friends at Pepperdine were from Singapore and they use this to cook all the time. And then the main thing we're using is the green curry paste. It looks best on you. So I just added in the quinoa. They wanted one and a half cups. And what's so cool about this recipe is you do not have to cook the quinoa. It cooks while it's baking in the oven. Guys, so I tasted some of the green curry paste and it's so spicy and it's gonna be so good. I'm so excited. I'm super nervous. It's not all gonna fit in this pan. It's almost overflowing, but Trevor assured me that it's all gonna fit. My favorite part about this house is the recycling room. It makes me so happy. I'm obsessed with recycling. It is ready. I'm so excited. It looks amazing. We ended up needing to cook it for twice as long as the recipe said. I think because we crammed so much, so many vegetables and quinoa in the dish. Trevor is serving. I'm so excited to eat. This is a stellar example of how we eat at such a different paces. <laughs> 
worst thing happened once I went on the medicine again. Going on to Lamictal, I always have horrible nightmares. Seeing people die, torture, just really the most violent dreams I've ever had. I've seen so many people in my life murdered in front of me because of going on Lamictal. I saw Trevor die in the fire two years ago. It's impossible for me to explain these dreams if you haven't had them, but it affects your entire day because it feels so vivid as if you literally just went through the really traumatic event. I saw all of these people I know almost die in a fire, but in this dream, I actually saved everyone from dying from the fire but I had to burn everyone to be able to save them. Like literally put people half on fire. And I actually ended up saving everyone's life in this dream. All the other Lamictal dreams, I watched people die before my eyes. So then I have Valentine's Day with Trevor. We watched A Beautiful Mind, this video on schizophrenia. I cried several times throughout it just because I related so much with him wanting to go off meds and feeling like he's losing himself by being numbed down. I super related to that. Trevor ordered us Thai food. We both got pad seu, which is my favorite dish. We also went to his RCIA on Valentine's Day. We went to RCIA date together. Last Valentine's Day was Ash Wednesday, which was really special. We FaceTimed with our ashes last year. On Valentine's Day, I pulled an all-nighter and then this happened. Hey guys, so it is 5 a.m. in the morning. I'm at the Nashville airport and I'm missed my flight to the Relentless Conference. I was here on time, but apparently there's a rule where you have to check your bags 45 minutes before the flight. Southwest, which is the airline I usually fly, is super lenient. And they're like, the bag might not make it on the airplane, but they always find a way to make my bag on the airplane. So I'm wearing this sports top and I'm wearing sweatpants and my boots. I'm just laying on the ground waiting. My flight has to leave before they can try to rebook me. I always travel with my pillow. It's so cozy and I have a dirty pillowcase on the top and then a clean one inside. So I have the dirty when I'm traveling and then when I get to my location, I take it off and just sleep on the pillow okay guys so these are packing cubes and I'm constantly flying traveling like I said in my assumptions video people are like are you a professional traveler do you get paid to travel so I'm gonna link my Amazon page below and I kind of show you guys different lifestyle things that I use every single day on a regular basis and this comes with three different packing cubes and then also laundry pouches which I didn't think I would use but they're so amazing. I'll be at some place for a week or a week and a half and so it's super nice to have a place to put my laundry because I've had a rule my whole life where I never put dirty laundry in my suitcase. My suitcase always has clean clothes so it's super nice to contain the laundry. So I'm just plugging my Amazon influencer page if you guys want to support my channel. I have a ton of categories of books I recommend, products I use every single day. I receive a small percentage as commission for anyone who buys on my Amazon influencer page so if you're wanting to learn more about Catholicism wanting to read up on theology Christianity I have so many Protestant scholars in these playlists as well I'm gonna link it below also the security line was super long it was so crazy I always fly out of Nashville and no one is there but apparently flying at 5 a.m. is the worst time to fly I had no idea also, since this is a sponsored video, real quick, I'm wearing the necklace that they gave me and I'm so obsessed with it. Like I said, I had that little stud necklace that I wore every day for a year and this is literally the same one except it is a bigger jewel and it's actually a jewel and silver and not plastic. Although I have no shame buying $2 necklaces, I feel like they look exactly the same. So then I finally make it to California. My flight gets delayed in LA. So I end up in the airport for seven or eight hours working, which was super nice. I got so much work done. Tell me that it's all okay. I've been waiting on this all day. Call me in the morning. Tell me how last night when I'm here. But so Tell me all the things 
that you have against me Every time we make up the truth is faded Everybody's gone when the view's amazing So then I landed at the airport and went to the Relentless conference. I don't really have any footage of the actual conference because when I'm doing stuff with people, I'm super immersed and not vlogging. I met a lot of you guys. I got to hug you. We took some pictures. I got to hear your story. A couple people cried when they met me. I love you guys so much. It was so nice, so fun. I made a super intense PowerPoint. I was super intense and dramatic like always. These are some clips of the mass during the Relentless Conference. There were over a hundred high school students about to be confirmed into the Catholic Church. It was so, so cool being at mass with so many young Catholics. It was so exciting. Everyone there was so nice, so amazing. There were a lot of charismatic Catholics who had the most amazing stories of God's intervention and miracles and the way God speaks so directly into their lives. It was so cool getting to hear all of these stories and getting to meet so many people who are using their entire lives for the kingdom. So then this is me flying back to LA and all the clips after this are the past couple days and what I've done here. Hey guys, I'm sorry my room is still a mess. I got back late last night. This is the Ana Luisa necklace. I'm so excited. It was exactly what I wanted. The diamond was even bigger than I thought. I think it's the perfect size. This is just my outfit. I'm going grocery shopping right now because I have no food. Alexa, stop. So I'm so excited to go grocery shopping. I made a giant list of four different recipes I want to make. Since I'm the only one eating, each meal makes two to four servings. So it'll be enough for lunch, dinner, everything I need. I was listening to Barlow Girl. They're a Christian band, Three Sisters, and they were my absolute favorite music group growing up. I listened to them constantly and I feel like the theology, spirituality in the music completely influenced me and just made me so strong as a Christian and so confident and flourishing in my faith. So definitely go check them out, Barlow Girl. They have the most amazing albums. One more thing, so one of my roommates converted me to a purse backpack because she always carries one around. So I got one in pink, it was probably seven or $10. Best purchase I could have ever made. It just keeps my hands free when I'm walking around. So when I got back, Sunday to Monday was perfect. I went to bed at nine, woke up at seven, had so much energy. My roommate is blasting Ariana Grande in the shower. I was just listening to the same exact song that she was playing when I got back. So I tried to film when I was out, but my phone was completely full and had no memory. But I went to the blood drive super impulsively because they had a sign outside of Target and I gave blood. It was the absolute best blood giving experience of my life. The last time I gave blood a year and a half ago, the person doing it was so horrible and couldn't find my vein for three minutes and was poking around and it was so... This time though, he immediately found my vein, the blood came out so fast, so my tip is to stay super hydrated before giving blood and don't go to Florida because Florida has the craziest things happening in Florida. So here's what I got. I got this pink pillow. I love it so much. It's super furry and it's actually from the kids section. And look, it has little bunny ears, but I'm going to keep it on my bed. And honestly, I am like a little kid. I have a ton of stuffed animals and I have my zebra pillow pet right here. And then I also got a lot of food for my recipes I'm doing this week. So this is my cabinet. We all have sets of cabinets in the apartment and usually it's super organized. So I'm gonna try to instill the same organization. So at the top, I have all my baking stuff. So flour, sugar, flaxseed meal, 
cornmeal, chia seeds, all of that type stuff. And then I have my recipes I'm doing this week that I put on top. So then I have vegetable broth and I have some canned food. So crushed tomatoes, cornstarch I needed for a recipe. We'll go with the baking stuff. I love so much that Ariana Grande is playing in the background. I've been listening to this album on repeat the past couple of weeks. Chili powder is my absolute favorite thing in the world. Our freezer, I don't know what happened, but I think we're gonna clean it soon. I came back in. So then we have a shelf system in our fridge too, and my shelf is right here. So none of that stuff is mine, but my almond milk. So then I got some candles to add to my collection. I'm so excited. This is the one that's always in the background of my videos with the... Easter Vigil, I forget what this thing is called, but my sponsor for my confirmation gave this to me and it's the most amazing thing. And then this is the candle that I burn all the time. Vanilla Caramel Amber Bonfire. It's so amazing, so good. I usually get the smaller one, but this was the only one they had. And because they're not in the glass jars, they're so cheap. So look, I have Sacred Heart of Jesus 2.0. And what I like about this one is he actually looks Middle Eastern. Whereas this, Jesus did not have blue eyes and light skin and dirty blonde hair. He just didn't. So this is more cultural, which I really like. And then I got Guadalupe, which I love so much. I used to hate Guadalupe, but then I read this book about it. I'll link it below. And now I'm obsessed. So I'm going to have really, really fun prayer time. I'll keep you updated on it. Because my roommate is gone now and I have the room to myself, it's so nice because I can just pray out loud whenever I want and I really love that. So then I got a lot of work done and then I went to daily mass at 6 p.m. Got to see my priest. So cool. Then I talked to my mom on the phone for an hour and a half. Picked up my new prescription of Lamictal because my psychiatrist's office gave me a week's supply until the next appointment. Good morning, so today is Tuesday. I just curled my hair in these super tight spiral curls because I'm filming in an hour and a half. My hair has been pinned straight my entire life and it is impossible to curl. So I'm going to let these settle for an hour or two and then I'm gonna film my Q&A video. But also, I'm wearing the third piece of jewelry from Ana Luisa, these dainty earrings. I love them so so much. I'm going for a more fancy look in today's video. So these are perfect. I love them so much. So today, last night, I slept for 10 and a half hours, way past my alarm. It was super sad. Horrible dreams. I don't know if people were dying or we were getting attacked. Something horrible was happening. I woke up horrible dreams. So I'm not sure how I'm going to split up the vlogs, but I'm gonna link after this the playlist to all my vlogs. Go watch them. I'm so excited to be doing follow me around vlogs and to bring you guys into my life. Make sure to check out Anna Luisa Jewelry. You guys will for sure keep seeing their jewelry on me. So if you want to twin me or find your own style, I'm gonna link it below. Go check it out. Lizzie10 to get $10 off.